are we about to see a very big short squeeze on Bitcoin pushing prices back up above $50,000 to new yearly highs? I'm going to be covering that in this video. Everything that you need to know about the short squeeze, how and why it can be happening and what to be looking for next. You know, how can you secure your profit on the next big move on Bitcoin? So that's what I'm going to be giving you in this video. I'm going to be running you through this and, uh, you know, I hope that you thoroughly enjoy, learn something and have a good time with me. So let's go. Uh, right. Where were I left off the last video? Of course, I was explaining how I was looking while we were back on the round the middle of January, looking and expecting $40,000 to break. OK, we had our range low and I had the expectation. Yeah, we are going to be breaking down through range low. We had a lot of signs. As you all know, we did break down through range low and we broke through $40,000 as we were looking for. After that, it turned into a few days of what I just referred to as pretty choppy price action. We lost the range low, we back tested the range low, and we were just going above and back down below, above and back down below. So there was no clear setup to be had here. Of course, you do definitely not want to be shorting down here. That is a very bad decision. Why? Because you are shorting after an already extreme move to the downside. Shorting down here, which people were, when you go back and you look at the order flow, OK, there were a lot of shorts. I'll explain the order, order, flow, the order flow in this video, uh, but I'm going to cover that. But basically down here is a bad time to be shorting. OK, and you did have to be remaining patient because also the longs at the time, of course, you're also then looking at the back test. So it's like I said over on Twitter, a lot of people will fail in trading as they simply don't know how to sit on their hands and wait for a good setup to come to them. You know, if I go a few days without trading because there is no good setup, it is fine. OK, it is better to sit and wait for a good setup to come to me than forcing a trade and taking unnecessary losses. OK, we got to work smart. And that just means simply formulating a plan. And like Scott says here, patience, we got to remain patient for the very good trade setups. OK, and this is one that I shared earlier today, actually, uh, with my champion members. I'd just like to talk you through this of what I was sharing prior to this move to the upside, right? While we're trading that back down here at $39,900. I posted this to my team. Okay, we're getting this sideways choppy price action around $40,000. We are seeing millions of new shorts opening, okay, with the open interest increases. And this lined up for a very big short squeeze to the upside. Here I will show you, you can see here the open interest increasing all new shorts. We look down through here. Look at this massive open interest increases. OK, millions of new shorts. This is all on the shorts opening with open interest increases. Here we see it again. Open interest increases with shorts opening. So we had this scenario where we were just, you know, ranging sideways for three days straight and we were seeing several bouts of lots of short trades opening. OK, you can see the bullish CVD divergences as well. So that's why I formulated this plan and came up with the idea of, you know, this is lining up really for a short squeeze. Of course, we need to get the reclaim. But if we get that, then, you know, you can look for those long trades simply because of the, you know, the short squeeze that we are looking for here on the Bitcoin chart. And of course, we can see now that was posted at 9 a.m. UK time, um, you know, as some guys are saying here. That with that in mind, you can be more comfortable if you have longs from lower to remain in those longs, right? And look for those higher prices to come. And we went on to reclaim the range value area low. You know, this really is activating the bullish scenario where we're looking for that range value area high. Shorts are, you know, being forced to close as we squeeze up on Bitcoin. And of course, the stock market too. Bears are going to be crying on that one. Um, of course, I have zero interest in shorts, but on, on Bitcoin as well, you know, this was again around 11 a.m. as we were starting to hit a few naked pointed controls that we had, um, you know, for me, not interested in shorting out those naked pointed controls. And it just falling into this scenario where we had a, you know, like I'm saying here, this really is activating the bullish scenario where we got to be looking for higher prices on Bitcoin to come next, to be honest with you. And it's leading into that, um, you know, short squeeze idea that we had. And really a fake out 
of the range low. So, of course, this is the range low. This is then a fake out, failed auction of range low. And we are now, after completing that fake out, failed auction, looking for higher prices. So I am not shorting right now. Okay, and I am looking for higher prices to come. So now I want to explain to you exactly what and why I am looking at next on Bitcoin. So what I'm just going to do one very quick announcement, and that is if you are interested in these updates inside of the Discord, these daily plans that um and the other coaches are posting in the Discord, as long as, okay, I mean, aside of um, of course, included, you got the live trading streams, you got the dedicated altcoin streams, you got the daily live stream updates as well. That's everything that is included, of course, and more that I'm not mentioning within the platform of Chart Champions. So if you want to take trading seriously, if you want to edu educate yourself, you know where to go, chartchampions.com. And um, back to the charts and why I am locally bullish looking for higher prices. So as I mentioned, we have now formed a fake out of the range low. A lot of people got bearish down here. And, you know, we saw all of those millions of shorts opening in fear at the lows, lining up for the short squeeze. We went on to reclaim the range low and the range value area low, which is for me, of course, very important. After getting this reclaim, I am now looking for this short squeeze to continue and higher prices. Where is the next target? Well, of course, you just saw it right there lining up here on the range point of control. So you can see this is coming in at around $43,600. So you want to be aware of this $43,600 where you got that previous, well, of course, it's sitting on the previous range and current range point of control. So for a level for me that, you know, is just absolutely key that you've got to have written down, okay, uh, because you don't want to be forgetting such important levels. If you're not writing them down, then uh, you're lining yourself up for it for a potential big fail. So, um, you know, that's where I'm looking for. OK, we do have a few levels prior to that, as you can see on the chart. Of course, I'm always a level to level trader. So it's like, OK, we've got, for example, a weekly naked point of control here. Here we just monitor reactions. We monitor reactions and make informed decisions. For example, we had a daily naked point of control just above 40,700. When we hit that level, we make an informed decision. As I posted to my team, as we hit that daily naked point of control, I told my team, for me, I am not shorting yet. So I made the informed decision of not to short as we hit that naked point of control. And the same type of informed decision I would make, of course, when we hit the weekly. I look for the rise and I'm expecting a rise. And I say to myself, OK, we've got a bearish reaction now where I could activate a short trade or we get a bit of drop or we simply go through the level. And then I would say similar to, OK, I'm not shorting yet. And I look for level to level, the next one above and so on and so forth. That is the, you know, the style of trading that I do. This is what I teach. And the reasons behind it is because it simply is the best way to consistently make profit and not get caught off guard. OK, and become bearish and bearish down at the lows, you know, even though. You know, I think I've made it fairly, very obvious. I have shorts from $48,000. You know, this is a, and of course, I'm still in those short trades, right? I still have my shorts from 48000 Just because we've got this doesn't mean I will close that. But I did make it very clear. Um, I'm not shorting down here. You know, this for me is, in, in no way am I going to be shorting down below range low. Why? I have my shorts from higher. I recognize the failed auction, short squeeze potential. And now that is activating. So I have no shorts down here, right? And um, now I can be happy looking for higher prices to come. And I am expecting higher prices to come. When we hit my next levels and targets, I can make my new informed decision of, OK, do I look for the lower high to be put in and continuation of a downtrend? Or do we actually see strength, reclaim of resistance into support, and looking up, of course, 46,000 major level, we get these reclaims. We are looking for above $50,000, above $50,000. Key level to be aware of, of course, the weekly. I'm going to say here for my final words of this video, if you want to see more from me, you know where to get it.
that is over via chartchampions.com access to the discord and of course i got the champions live stream on sunday where i'll give you a higher term time frame perspective of the charts and i'll go over the swing trades that i'm looking for next in the champions live stream on sunday higher term time frame ideas biases trades and swing perspective if you want to see that you know where to get it along with all the other analysis and ideas that i have thank you ever so much everybody hope that you've thoroughly enjoyed and if you liked it you know what to do hit that like button leave a comment down below i will make sure to read every single one thank you and have a brilliant weekend let's crush it champs and i am looking for higher locally thank you and goodbye